Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Or, I mean, the W in sword is silent, you say sword, so I guess it should be Pokemon Swoosh, or Pokemon Swoosh. But Pokemon Swoosh is, sounds, sounds better, honestly. So we're going to call it Pokemon Swoosh, or Swoosh, or, you know, one of those. Anyway, um, so I haven't started it up yet because it's a little sort of, um, I want to show what happens when you do. I mean, I started it up before to start the game, but when you resume, it's actually a little different to some earlier Pokemon games, and I thought it was interesting. So, I haven't launched the game yet. Here's what happens when you launch the game. I thought you might appreciate seeing it. Uh, you get the little, you know, this thing, the Switch splash screen that pretty much every game has. I don't know if that's like a requirement of the platform or not, but most games do it. Anyway, then you get this little cutscene. Uh, you can skip this if you want, but I'm going to let it play through just so you can see it. It's pretty short. Uh, so yeah, you just get a look at a Pokemon state Stadium for a little bit. It looks pretty cool. Uh, there we go. Pokemon Shield. And you go continue. And then it gives you just a loading thingy. For a few seconds. For a few seconds. And you're in. You're in the game already. So you don't get, you know, the traditional little menu screen that has continue and new game and maybe like mystery gift or whatever. It takes you immediately into the game, which makes sense, I think. It feels a bit more immersive, I guess. I think it's a nice change. Anyway, um, I assume you have to do something special if you actually want to wipe your save data. Possibly you just do it in the Switch menus or whatever. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go talk to Hop over there and get on a train. Let's go. So, out with it, Danielle. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. And you got... Not one! What were you doing this whole time? You're gonna want a team if you're a trainer. I have a full team, what are you talking about? Seriously, I don't understand what Hop's saying here. I'm real confused. You obtained TM40 Swift. You put TM40 in your bag's TM's pocket. Star-shaped razor short of Mosey Pokemon, the stack never misses. That's a technical machine, a TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokémon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motostoke. Motostoke? Motostoke? I don't know how to pronounce it. That place. And our train's waiting, so let's go. Okay, um, so we, yep, we go on the train, inside the train station here. Let's get on the train! Not quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, Mum? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Score Bunny as a partner, darling. That was like, yesterday, so I mean... You, you're not really seeing too far ahead. <laughs> Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. You obtained a set of camping gear. You put the set of camping gear in your bag's key items pocket. Everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in a wild area or at a camping spot. Neat. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mum. And just think how lucky you are. Mother had the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next, you'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokémon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Danielle. Come on, we're off. I guess we're on a train now? We are on a train now. Matostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Okay, I think this whole wild area thing is a new feature in Swoosh. Swoosh in, in Pokemon Pokemon Swoosh, so I should 
get a good look at this because yeah in the first video we didn't really get to look at too many unique features hey mr station master isn't this the wild area what are we stopped here for yes this is the wild area station make no mistake i'm sorry to tell you the train is halted due to a flock of wooloo on the tracks wooloo just <laughs> just mess up everything <laughs> They were blocking the road earlier, now they've blocked the train. They just, they just... Is this, is this what it's like in England? Does the Wooloo just, like, stand in front? I mean, sheep. Does sheep just block everything? Always? <laughs> What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! This wild area is massive! There are loads of Pokémon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Danielle? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Alright, um, I guess I'll talk to these people. Hello. Hey, have you and Evie had a... I knew it! You've had a Let's Go experience with Evie, haven't you? I mean, sort of. It was on my Switch, but that was before Riley got theirs, and it, it's... I don't have a save file for Let's Go anymore, so I'm not sure. I hope we'll have another Let's Go experience with this Evie too. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. I have an Evie now. Eevee Star will be added to the Pokédex. Thanks to its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokémon conceals many different possible evolutions. Yeah? Nickname, let's go. Uh, let's see, Mars symbol. Uh, your name will be Pepita. Stevie, I gave you a special, you know? You should definitely Dynamax it. I'll try. Hey, have you and Pikachu how to... Oh, no, I think I was mistaken. Don't mind me. Okay, so if I talked to you and I'd played the Pikachu version of the game, I would get a Pikachu? Wow. Seems like my children are giving something to people who've had a Let's Go experience. But what in the world's a Let's Go experience? Do you have any idea? <laughs> no clue. Uh, we can go back to Wedgehurst if we want, but not right now. We can get you back to Wedgehurst if you like, but M Motostoke is off the menu for now. It would be very decent of us to try to drive off those Pokémon just because we happen to want to run our train here, now would it? Uh, Pokémart, what can I buy? Okay, I can buy Pokéballs now. So that's good. Uh, hello. If you want into stronger wild Pokémon, the farther you go into the wild area. If you feel like you're in a pinch during a battle, just use a Poké Doll. Okay. I got five Poké Dolls, thank you! No matter how strong a Pokémon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually, as long as you join in the Gym Challenge and gather the Gym Badges. Thank you. <gasps> swine up! Hi, Swine up! I love the little kneeling thing. It's like, hello, friend. Also love this, of course. Oh. Spin, 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 spin. Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, how many Pokeballs do I have? Maybe I need a few more? 21. Uh, I should I should be fine. Okay, let's go. Let's head out into the wild area. Find your way through the wild area to reach Motostoke next. Okay, clearly there's some sort of day-night thing happening, because it's it's dark. But it didn't look that dark back in uh, Wedgehurst, so maybe it's different depending on which part of the game world you're in? I don't know. Let's have a quick look. Does it show a time of day on here somewhere? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if this game has normal day-night cycles based on... Oh, hey, look, I can move the camera around. I couldn't do that before. So in the wild area, you can spin the camera around with the right stick. Interesting. Hello. Hi there, would you like to rest your Pokémon? Uh, sure. I'll take your Pokémon for a few seconds then. There, all happy and healthy. Good luck and take care. So yeah, um, I have camera control out here. If you click the stick, you zoom out as well. So that's interesting. Because, yeah, in the normal game... You, the camera is fixed and you can't move it around. So that's 
different. Look at that. Is that where we want to go? Is that the city over there? Yeah, that's Motostoke, way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokémon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, if it isn't Sonya. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting off on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Ugh, never you mind that, nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokémon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Yikes. Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'd be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. I'll have to go and stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm gonna battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokémon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. What cheek! Dynamax Pokémon are really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokémon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokémon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? You obtained a Pokémon Box Link. Oh, okay. So you get you. This is. I mentioned in the previous video that in Let's Go you can access the boxes anywhere. It looks like in this game you can do that too, except certain places where this won't work. You can use the Pokémon Box Link to access your Pokémon boxes while you're on the road. You'll be able to add Pokémon to your party or transfer Pokémon from your party to a box. You can access your boxes by selecting Pokémon from the X menu and then pressing the R button. With the Pokémon Box Link, you'll be able to put Pokémon from your team into your boxes or take Pokémon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So get, go wild catching as many Pokémon as you like, and fill in some more of your Pokédex! The wild area is waiting for you, this is the start of your real adventure. It doesn't really look that far. I mean, maybe it's farther than it looks, but it doesn't, it doesn't look very far. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I see something shiny here. A jar of honey! A sweet honey collected by Pokémon has a lush aroma and can be sold at a low price to shops. <gasps> An Onyx! Hello Onyx! You found a note, did someone drop it here? The large Pokémon you see wandering around in the wild area are strong. If you try battling one, it seems like you're in over your head. Try to run. Run like the wind! Okay. You found a Pokéball! Bunch of, bunch of good stuff here. Hello Onyx! Okay, you might be too strong for me, but let's, let's give it a try. What level are you? 26. That's pretty strong. Uh, hmm, I might try one Water Pulse and see what happens. Oh, you have Curse? Are you serious? Alright. I mean, it's just, a, it's just a stat move because you're not Ghost-type, so I guess that's okay. It's super effective. You can't throw a Pokeball, it won't let its guard down. Oh. Well, never mind then. You couldn't get away. Oh no, you just curse again. I was hoping to catch it, but apparently I can't. Um. Go away safely, there we go. I'm confused. Um. I guess I'll keep going. Here's a tree. I'm guessing I can get some berries from here. Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokémon, and even the PP they need to use their moves over and over. Pokémon that have fainted and can't battle any longer will perk right up as well with a piping hot plate of curry before them. Visit berry trees to collect plenty of berries so you can always make more curries. Okay, so I can make curry? Yeah, I'd love to shake it. Let's do it. Hell yeah. A Petra Berry, a Cherry Berry, and an Oran Berry fall from the tree. There are three berries on the ground. I can shake it more? Uh, I guess let's keep going. Is there a reason to stop? Does it just keep going forever? Oh, 
Oh, Pokemon falls out if you do it too much. I see. It's a Squavit. Hello, Squavit. Go, Cynthia. Well, I can take this on. This isn't a super strong one, so let's just use a couple of water pulses. Squavit used by it. Made me flinch, but I attacked first, so it's okay. So I didn't flinch, because I was already attacked at the time they used their attack, because I'm fast. The Pokemon gained experience points, and they will level up if they get enough. Oh, they took the berries away. I see. I get it. You, you miss out on some of the berries if you keep shaking for too long. I see. Oh, hello. Hello, who are you? <gasps> it's a bunny! It's a bunnelby! <laughs> Go, Cynthia, let's get a bunny! Uh, hmm, I don't want to kill it in one hit, but let's try one water pulse and see how much that does. Hopefully that weakens it, but doesn't kill it. Yes, yes, good. Give me that bunnelby. Used a Pokeball. Yeah. Dun, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> Come on, gained experience points. Charles grew to level nine, and you caught a Bunnel Bee, which is a new Pokemon that you didn't have. Let's see what it is. It's sensitive to danger. The sound of Corvin Knight's flapping will have Bunnel B digging a hole to hide underground in moments. I don't know what Corvin Knight is. Yes, I'll give them a nickname. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so Trans Girl, Bunny, Lynn, I guess. There we go. Um, there we go. Ba 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 ba. Oop, something else. Oh, it's another Bunnelby. Probably gonna need more of them, so I guess I'll just attack this one. It's a bit stronger than the other one. Uh, used a quick attack and did some damage to me before I could react. Cool, cool, cool. Level 13, yay! Level 11, yay! Level 9, yay! Level 9, yay! <laughs> I can see a Metapod. Also some these? Oh my gosh, they're honeycombs! It's a honeycomb! <laughs> Look at it! Combi, it's a happy little honeycomb! <laughs> I love it. I don't know what type it is, but I want it. So let's see what happens if I do a water pulse. Okay, it's in. It's in. Uh, it's probably bug type, but I'm not sure. My um, evasiveness harshly fell. That's okay though. Gotcha, combi was caught. I got a honeycomb. Okay, so let's look at the Pokédex. Ceaselessly gathers nectar from sunrise to sundown, all for the sake of Bespi Quen and the swarm. B -b -b -b. Would you like to give combi a nickname? Yes, please. Okay, so Mars symbol again. So I'm gonna go with uh, Kazooie. <laughs> there we go. Turn to a box, thank you. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm going a little low on um stuff, so maybe I should make camp and see how the cooking system works. Butterfree! <gasps> Butterfree! <gasps> Butterfree! 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 Come down! How do I reach it? <laughs> yeah, let's zoom out. Oh, there's another bird. Hello. A wild pit elf? Pied elf? 
I think it's Pidove because it's like Pigeon Dove. Something like that. There's a water pulse. Oh no, I bet it in one hit. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try making camp. Oh, actually, I can just walk back. I'm pretty close to the uh, exit. I'll probably just heal up again where I started. Like this. Yes, please roast my Pokemon. <laughs> I should give, give the camp a shot before, like, ending, probably, but it can wait. This looks really nice. It, it sort of reminds me of Breath of the Wild a little. It's not quite as enormous, but it's got a similar sort of scope feel to it, I think. I don't know how to get Butterfree. He doesn't want to fly down and, and talk to me. <gasps> Is that Vesper Queen? Hello. Are you Vesper Queen? Very strong looking Vesper Queen. Mm, that's not ideal. Vesper Queen's pressure, what does that do? Level 26, run. Couldn't get away. I don't know if that's because of the pressure or... Attack rose sharply. But I'm confused. Yeah, that's what Swagger does. Go well safely, okay. So... <sighs> I can't really tell whether it was big or not because I don't know how big, big a Vesper Quen is supposed to be. Will you battle me if I talk to you or... Hello. I fished up something brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. What my brilliant find for a brilliant bargain just 100 W's? What's a W? Uh, yes? They're Watts, apparently. I don't know how to get them, though. Uh, hello. Yeah, I love to cook. Okay, so I can buy some stuff from, from here. I don't have any of these things. I might buy one of each, just so I have them. Uh, maybe a couple of these. Two loaves of bread. And two pasta. I guess one of each of these because they're more expensive. Coconut milk? <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Thank you, um... Swimmer with... you got, like, swimming outfit or something. I don't I don't know. I don't know what you're wearing. It looks like swimmers to me, but I don't know what it is. Some more combis there. I can see there's a bunch of those, um... Those things, the Dynamax lairs or whatever. I found a note. Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area. If you press the right stick, you find you can see a wider view of things. Press the L button to look straight ahead again. Okay, cool. I didn't know about the L button part. I didn't figure out the right stick part already, though. How do we do for time? I'm thinking I'll aim for like a half hour on these videos. Um. So, probably another seven minutes ish. Oh, it's raining. Okay. <gasps> a friend! A wild stuffle! Go and Cynthia, I know you can do it. You can catch the stuffles. Level 11, let's try a water pulse, please. Don't kill it in one hit. I don't know what type stuffle is. Okay, that went well. Uh, what's Leah do? Defense fall. Okay, um. Let's try throwing a Pokeball and see how we go. We used a Pokeball. Click. Gotcha, Stuffles caught. Gained experience points, Charles grew to level 10. Charles learned Bite, that's a good move to have. I like Bite, I use it a lot in Gen 2. Stuffles data will be added to their Pokedex. The way it protects itself by flailing its arms may be adorable sight, but stay well away, this flailing can snap quick tree trunks. It's, it's strong. Yes, you may have a nickname. Ah, uh, Mars symbol, so... Hmm. 
I don't know what I'm gonna call you. Uh, Samantha. I was thinking of like Paddington if we got a Venus symbol, but eh. there we go. Has been sent to a box. <laughs> Is that Nordish? It is an oddish. Hello, friend. <laughs> Let's use a water pulse to catch oddish. Yeah, I know it's not very effective. That's why I used it. I'm trying to not kill it. Use sweet scent that makes my evasiveness fall. Something like that. Yep, yeah, that's what happened. Let's do Water Pulse again. Uh, use Rose. Attack Rose. Special Attack Rose. Uh, let's try throwing. There we go. I haven't actually had a Pokeball break open yet. It might be easier in this game than in some of the previous ones. Bada ba dum! Bada ba dum! Bada ba dum! Fury attack? That sounds cool. Yeah, let's get an all move. Let's see. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's, uh. Hmm. Let's drop Leah. One, two, and ta-da! Raphael forgot Leah, and it learned Fury Attack instead. Now they go to level 10. She learned Stuffed Cheeks. That's cute. I don't know what it does, but it sounds real cute. Oddish's data will be added to the Pokédex during the day. It stays in the cold underground void the sun. It grows by bathing in moonlight. I would like to give it a name. I'll call it Oliver. Because it's a Venus symbol, therefore... Hey, dude. There we go. It's into a box. Da -da 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 and there's another stuff all there, but I already got, got one of them. Just a moment to go. Uh, I think the ones that aren't in the long grass are like all really strong ones you can't catch, which is annoying. How are we doing for time? I'm almost at 30 minutes, so I'm probably going to wrap this video up soon. Uh, kind of weird that there's no run button. But you move at a decent clip anyway, so I guess it's okay. It just seems like a weird mission. <gasps> it's a Belican! Hello, Belican! Can I catch you? Can't reach. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at all the little friends! Look at all the friends! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I think I'll walk up to the town here just to wrap things up for the moment. Oh, a note. The wild air is overflowing with a special sort of energy measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. Also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you just give them some of your watts. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I think. Okay, so here's the town. Let's just have a quick look inside. And we'll call that a video. So we made it to Motto Stoke. Um, we'll probably go back to the wild area because it looks like there's a bunch of stuff to catch in there. And a bunch of other areas to look at, like side paths and stuff. This town looks cool though. Little friends! I'm Encino! 
I love you, Mincena. You're so precious. Shrinking down to fit in Pokeballs, and next thing you know, growing massive by Dynamaxing. Must be a lot of work for Pokemon. I want a Mincino. Look how cute they are. Mincino likes things neat and tidy. It'll brush away any dust with its tail. Dang, I really want a Mincino now. <laughs> Here in the Galar region, I'd say it's fair to call the champion a regional hero. We're all transfixed by everything he does. Transfixed, you say? <laughs> This city is just massive. I need to keep checking my town map, otherwise I know I'll get lost. Does the map show you the city, like, internal? Oh yeah, it does. Sorta. Not really. Unless this is part of the city over there too. But I don't think it is. I think that's, like, other stuff. Unless there's a zoom in button that I'm missing, but I can't see one. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like the map tells you much about the layout of the, of the town itself, so I'm confused. Oh, hey, Sonya, how'd you get here? Hey, over here. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your trek ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. Oh, look at that poster. That's real cute. <laughs> I'll show you the poster again when we get outside. Oh, looks like the Rotomi's free. Rotomi are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your league card. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Daniel? Here's a sample for you. You got Leon's league card. You put the league card in your album. Show off your achievements by making a league card. You can customize your card using the card maker found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with all your latest information. Trainers all have their own league cards, and you can swap cards with other trainers that you connect using communication features. You can view all the league cards you've collected by checking out your album, which you can find the league card option of the X menu. But Motorstoke Straw is big, right? Not to worry, Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after he'll help your Pokemon. Okay, thanks, Sonya. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. Okay, I'm gonna save now. I'm gonna say that's it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna look at my league card first. Just have a peek. Oh, it's me! On a card with a... An uncomfortable expression and no glasses. I need to update that with my with my glasses and stuff. Uh, I got my album. There's Leon. Uh, I won't do that just yet. I'll do that in the next video. Cool. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we'll have a look around Motorstoke and see what it has to offer. Um, and we might go, you know, back to the wild area and catch some more stuff as well because that was fun. I was enjoying that. Alright. <laughs> cool. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!